Hey, welcome to iFlip for Math MathCast Lesson 14-4, Customary Units of Weight and Mass. I'm Mrs. Gooding and our quote tonight is by Oprah Winfrey. The greatest discovery of all time is that a person can change his future by merely changing his attitude. And I think we've been talking about that this week some even, just in that if you shut down and decide you can't do it and you're in a bad mood, math's going to be harder. And when you really just get excited and start trying to figure out problems, it does get easier. It's not that the problems get easier. It's just your attitude really does determine how successful you are. Our learning goal tonight is to convert customary units of weight and mass. Here are our individual lesson learning goals. We are going to convert customary units of weight and the units of customary weight that we're going to use are ounces, pounds, and tons. You've done all of that in lower grades, I'm sure. There are 16 ounces in one pound. You need to memorize that. And you need to memorize that there are 2,000 pounds in one ton. I've also listed the abbreviations. The ounces that we're using tonight have to do with weight. They are not liquid. They are solid. So um, we're not talking about fluid ounces or ounces that are fluid or liquid. We're talking about solid ounces or the weight of ounces. So our example is how many ounces are in three pounds? And we are once again with customary measurement, we always use this big to little multiply small to large divide. Big to little multiply small to large divide. Big to little multiply, small to large divide. That's going to drive you and your parents crazy. It's going to be stuck in your head all night. So let me show you how we're going to do that. So just like with all of our customary units of measurement, when we're converting them, we write down what we know first. So in this sentence, how many ounces are in three pounds? We know how many pounds we have. We have three pounds. And we're going to write that down. Equals, we're going to draw our line and put... The abbreviation for ounces. So we know that, let's go ahead and change colors. We're going to bring our three right down, we just bring it right down here, and then we're looking at our units, pounds and ounces. We know that we have 16 ounces in a pound. Ounces are smaller than pounds, so pounds are bigger. So our unit is going from big, a big unit, to a little unit. So we would multiply, big to little, multiply. So we put a multiplication symbol here. Then we just have to remember how many ounces or how many, that's, how many of the smaller unit are in the larger unit. There are 16 ounces in a pound. So I write 16 right here. And then I can just come over here and multiply. 3 times 16. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. 48. There are 48 ounces in three pounds. Let's try some more. See if you can see how many times Oprah gives the thumbs up, just like we do when we're finished with our mastery check. She likes to do a lot, just like us. Number one, nine pounds equals how many ounces? Use what we just showed you to figure it out, pause it, and push play when you're ready. Did you write 144 ounces? Let's see how we did that. So I wrote the amount down that I know, nine pounds equals how many ounces? I want to know how many ounces are equivalent to nine pounds. So I'm gonna bring my nine down, and then I'm looking at pounds to ounces, and again, I know that pounds are bigger than ounces. So I'm going from a big unit to a small unit, or big to little, big to little multiply. So I'll put a multiplication symbol here, and there are 16 ounces in a pound, and 9 times 16, this was a lot like our example, so I hope you got it right. 9 times 6 is 54, 9 times 1 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 144 ounces is equivalent to 9 pounds. Number 2, 8,000 pounds equals how many tons? Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write four tons? Let's see how we did that one. So I bring down the number that I'm working with, 8,000, and I'm going from pounds to tons. So tons are like what an elephant weighs, so I know that tons are bigger than pounds. So I'm going from small to large. So small to large, divide. 
And then I ask myself, how many pounds are in a ton? And I know that it's 2,000. There are 2,000 pounds in a ton. Now I'm gonna use my mental math here. So I'm going to underline my non-zero digits, eight and two, and I'm gonna do eight divided by two is four. And then remember, when we're doing mental math with zeros, we don't multiply the zeros because we're dividing them actually. So remember that um, we use the battle of the zero strategy. So this soldier takes this soldier prisoner, this soldier takes this soldier prisoner, and this soldier takes this soldier prisoner, soldier prisoner. So we have no zeros left, which means that our final answer is four tons. Number three. 432 ounces equals how many pounds? Pause it and push play when you've worked it out. Did you write 27 pounds? Let's see how we did that. So we know how many ounces we have, so we'll bring that number 432 straight down. And we're going from ounces to pounds, and ounces are small and pounds are bigger. So we're going from small to large, divide. So I'll put my division symbol here, multiply. Big to little, multiply, small to large, divide. And then we know that there are 16 ounces in a pound. So that's our magic number there. So we're going to, di to divide 432 by 16. And 16 will not go into four. It goes into 43 two times. Two times six is 12. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, and 3 minus 2 is 1, 4 minus 3 is 1. Bring down our 2, and 16 goes into 112. Hmm, let's see, I think 32 is 2 times, so 64 would be 4 times. I'm going to try not quite 8 times. 6 times 7 is 42. Turn that into a four. One times seven is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I have no remainders. So I have 27 pounds. You might have used doubles division to work that out and that would be okay too. Now we're gonna practice word problems. Sam packed five bushels of corn. That's a certain kind of a sack size of corn. A bushel of corn weighs 30 pounds. How many ounces of corn are in each bushel? Pause it and push play when you figured it out. Did you write there are 480 ounces of corn in each bushel that Sam packed? What number in that word problem did we not need? That's right, we didn't need to know he had five bushels of corn. We only need to know how much each bushel weighed, which is 30 pounds, and then what we're converting it to, which is ounces. Let's check that out. So when we're converting from pounds to ounces, we write down the, the amount that we know how much we have first. So we know how many pounds we have. We have 30 pounds. So I wrote down 30 pounds equals and then how many ounces. So I'm going to bring my 30 down. I'm going to look at my pounds and my ounces. I know that pounds are bigger than ounces, so we're going from big to little multiply. So I'm going to put my multiplication symbol there. And then I know that there are 16 ounces in a pound. So I'm going to be multiplying. And I can use my mental math, actually. 3 times 16. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So 3 times 16 is 48. And then we take that 0 and add it to the end, practicing our mental math tonight. So 30 pounds is equivalent to 480 ounces. It's time for you to challenge yourself. Mrs. Gooding has a child that weighs 78 pounds, another child that weighs 112 pounds, and a third child whose weight is unknown. If altogether they weigh 282 pounds, how many ounces does the third child weigh? Show your work in your flip journal and come back tomorrow ready to check your answer. This one's cool. Finishing up, go ahead and go back over your learning goals. I think there was one. You were converting from um, customary weight and mass. 
Do you need to ha have any questions answered? Are you at a level one, two, or three in your learning? Remember, one means you need some more practice. You always need help with it. Two means you've almost got it, and three means you've got it. Remember, big to little multiply, small to large divide. You've completed lesson 14-4, customary units of weight and mass. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.